Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. You might have seen last week I made some vanity units for my new shepherd's hut. The client wants mirrors to go above the sink with built in lights or at least lights above them. This hut is going to be used for the trendy idea of glamping but they want it to look a bit rustic so they're not roughing it too much. This is lucky for me as making things rustic comes naturally to me as I'm not very good at perfection. I'm going to make these units have some pallet wood I have knocking around already. It will help with the rustic look and they're free. After cutting them to size I cut out a profile on the bandsaw on one piece and then used it as a template to trace the same profile onto the other pieces. I didn't really have an idea how this was going to turn out, I kind of just went for it on this project. With the two sides ready I could glue and then brad nail on the bottom piece. The front piece got put on in the same way and this would make a little tray so things like toothbrushes and toothpaste could be stored at the bottom of the mirror. I just held the top piece in place and then I could glue on the front piece. I want to come back later and hold the top piece in with some screws as this is where the bulb's going to go and needs to be removable later. The back of the unit just gets a load of pallet slats. I told you this was going to be a rustic project and it really is. The last piece needed cutting down to fit. I also needed to leave a little gap for some frosted perspex to fit in to diffuse the light. It can be fitted into place and I use a little bit of perspex just as a spacer. Before fitting the mirror and the electrics I give it a coat of finish. I'm using a hard wax oil in kind of a silvery grey that just gives it a washed out aged look. When the wax had dried I could fit the electrics. The cable is just going to run through the back of the unit and then be wired into a bulb holder. And that's about it, I don't have to worry about any switches because I'm going to wire it all into a circuit and have a pull cord for the whole bathroom. With the electrics in place I can fit the frosted perspex. I slide it into place and then just mark where it needs to be cut. The good thing about this evolution saw is it cuts multiple materials without changing the blade. I could have cut it on the bandsaw, but then I'd have to spend ages trying to change the blade just to make one cut. I carefully drilled through the perspex, put it in place and then drilled through those holes to make pilot holes in the wood. Then I could remove the plastic coating and hold it in place with some little brass screws. The mirror I got is not actually glass. I didn't want glass as when the hut gets bounced around over rough ground I didn't want it breaking. It came with some double sided tabs so it's really easy to fit, just stick it in place. The last job is just to fit the top. This can be held in place with screws so it can be removed but they're LED bulbs so it should last a long time. The screws will actually be above eye level so you'll never actually see them. With it fitted in the hut I can remove the plastic coating on the glass, or whatever it is, and that's it all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.